on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Yeah, sorry kid, I don't see you being a hero with that kind of quirk. Uh, what? What do you mean he can't be a hero with that quirk? It's just a... His quirk is to summon construct as well as, you know, customize tanks. Miss Midoriya, that, that quirk is... I... Though it does seem to have uses, but it's mainly for, I would suggest, defense or warfare. I don't really see much of a use for it when it comes to actual hero work. Uh, but, I'm sorry to say this, but your quirk... I don't see it being used for hero purposes. <sighs> it's okay, Is Isaku. You. <sighs> All I want to do is be a hero, but I can't even do that. I hate this quirk. But don't say that. So the quirk that makes the hero is the hero that makes the quirk. <sighs> yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence, Mom, but I don't see this working out. Trust me. The quirk is different. Special. I'm sure you can find a way to help you with it. Right now, I suggest you would train it, perhaps make it, make it more. Hmm. You said you may be able to customize them, so at the very least you can make it more like. Um, hmm. Let's do some research. As Izuku ain't go up till five years old, he. Pretty much staying more on tanks as well as trying his best to make them less lethal. First, he starts with making little tank toys, and then until he gets to more, you can say, useful and lethal type. Inko, she's happy that Izuku's finally the nice distraction. It's just, yeah, uh, she's wrong. He's gonna be heartbroken when he, if he uh, finds out that he can't actually use it to help people. Until, so you must be Izuku. Yes. Wait, you're. Yes, I'm David Shields. I, I feel like I may be able to help you be a hero. Really? But all I can do is make tanks that, that it may be true. But do you think of changing out the ammunition besides shooting pellets or type of rounds? You could have it be like a sealant or type of glue. To help with reconstruction, or to reinforce structures that are on the brink of collapse. What? Who knows? Maybe you could even. Is yeah, Izuku. He goes looking at him, and she's sees a glimmer of hope in his eyes. Him realizing, like, I never really thought of it like that. I only saw them much more as weapons. No, 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 no. 
Think of a think of a knife. People would consider those weapons, right? But they're not. They're tools. It just depends on who's handling it. It could be a wedge, a, a carving tool, uh, etc., etc. There are several uses for knives, but people usually just think of the danger in them without even actually giving them a chance. I think your quarter could be used in the same way. Like, say you could... Hmm. Care packages as well as medicine and such. It could be too dangerous for regular people to actually risk going there. Or, or, aha! What about radiation absorbers? Do you, have you ever thought of, uh, wait, what? Yes, like, say if we came up with a certain way that we could actually absorb radiation. Or at the very least, hmm, gamma rays. Do you know what the applications could be if we place something like that in Chernobyl? The only thing is, it's too dangerous for regular humans to actually, you know, you can control your tanks wirelessly, or at the least make little remotes like you did when you were making toys, correct? What? Yeah. Is yeah, Izuku's life is is got a bit better up to when he's ten years old. He's a successful rescue hero as well as when it comes to construction, relief jobs and all the like. He's happy that his mom was actually there to support him as well as being happy for David Shield actually showing up in his life. Uh, his tanks definitely come in handy when it comes to propelling heroes and to assist other heroes. <sighs> hey, mom. Thank you for not giving up on me. <laughs> yeah, if anything, thank you for not giving up on yourself and following your dream. Though you may not be able to become the number one hero, I think the fact that people do appreciate your efforts make it just as much you know, worth it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, whoever thought I'd be a, one of the top ranking heroes at the age of 10? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you surprised a lot of people. Then one day, Izuku, he's wandering around, just doing nothing. Then he gets a knock on the door. Hmm. <sighs> okay, let's see what's going on here. Hmm? What's this? All that's left is a package. Okay, that's weird, but I don't remember ordering anything. Him just taking it into his room and seeing a key? Hmm. It has a thing of instructions too. Let's Huh. Come to this address and you will find a special gift. Your talents are needed. 
elsewhere. Hmm. But I don't feel like leaving. As he just turns his nose like, don't worry, you'll be able to come and go as you please. Oh. Wow, that's... Huh, that's convenient. <laughs> he arrives at this old shack in which he sees, like, mm, Okay. Hmm. What are the odds? This is just a prank or something. Hmm. Nah, I, I doubt someone would go through all this trouble just to give me a... Huh. Him just using the key? It doesn't fit. So he just... It's unlocked. As soon as he goes into... He sees that there's another door there. He'll get a closer look, seeing that the keyhole seems... Huh. So is this what you go to? Okay, this is... I've never seen a door like this before. Upon unlocking it, the door opens up into a swirling vortex that almost pulls him in until he actually closes it. What was that? Him just thinking, okay. That's a weird quirk. <sighs> Maybe I'm just a little tired or something. Maybe I should hang on to this just in case. As soon as he pulls out the key, then the door folds in on itself and turns into a pocket-sized version of itself. Him looking the way, what? Okay, that just happened. Him picking it up and going back home. Upon this, he's... There's no way this that actually happened. Uh, I'm, I'm losing my mind. That, that's, that has to be it. I, there's no way. There's another... There's a door in my pocket. Um, sir, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, you, you can go now. I'm... I can... Uh, Walk the rest of the way. Are you certain? And as soon as he does uh, get back home, he's. Okay. Wow, reaching into my pocket, I am not gonna pull out a pocket sized door. He keeps telling himself that. He keeps imagining it. He's like, no, this isn't real, this is gonna happen. But then he's like, it's real. I can't believe this is actually real. Yeah. This key would, what kind of quirk could do something like this? Him just tossing the little door and it unfolding. <laughs> Then the key just starts glowing. Just saying, come on, you know you want to see what's on the other side. Suku part of him was like, no, something doesn't feel right. I feel like this is a trick. Someone must be trying to, oh, but what if it might be something amazing and i just being a coward and, then, he just throws Koss into the wind, unlocks the door again, and watches as this whole landscape just appears. This mountainous forest area. So, was well, this like a teleportation type thing? Or, I'm just wondering, okay, so... 
or it's just a window. Him reaching his head through it, he feels the warmth of the sun, and it's wow. I. <sighs> That's amazing. Him just closing the door and having it fold back up and he just puts it somewhere safe. That's... Yikes. Hmm. I feel like I should tell someone about this, but who's going to believe me? Even if I do show them, well, yeah, I do have the door and keys proof, but what will happen if I do tell people about this? They might try to destroy it or something. I This is a lot to really think about. And, yeah, Izuku has... A lot of worrisome thoughts going through his head. Should he tell Inko? Should he tell anyone at all about this? It's like, hmm. No, I, I should keep this a secret until I feel like I have no choice. Yeah, let's see how that goes, shall we? <clears throat> He's a group on pretty much learning more about this door, he's... he decides to go through it. When the door closes, he freaks out until it folds in again, but... again, he can just put it in his pocket. Him exploring this area, seeing that... the air is so fresh, it's like it's... it's like there's pretty much no... interactions between it and humanity and... It's just beautiful and hmm. I really do wonder. Let's see. Him taking out his actual phones. No service? That's weird. Huh. Him just like, okay, so this this is very weird. I have coverage all throughout the world unless this isn't a part of my world. Wait, this has several different applications to it. Wait, does this mean I'm, I'm not on Earth? I think, yeah, I've never seen, I haven't seen people here so far. It's just wilderness. Yeah. <sighs> But uh, this this is scary, but also very interesting. I I don't know what to say here. Hmm. Should I uh, continue this, or should I play it safe? In which, yeah, he's a good week upon going back. He's <sighs> okay. So I think I should keep this a secret. I should at least do more research here before I even let anyone else know about it. If that truly isn't the world I come from, this means I've been given quite the opportunity here I shouldn't uh, just be so uh, careless in how I treat it that still begs the question what should I do with all this information I could tell Melissa and David but they are researchers but Hmm. Oh, there's too just too many variables here. I need I need to wait. 
This is a lot to think about.